Hi guys, so I apologize a little bit on the delay of this video, but here is a snippet of what we did with Macy on her first day. So after we did our walk and I did a general assessment just to see like, all right, what are we doing and how does she respond with treats? Um, we jumped right in with threshold. So <clears throat> what we're working on is the place command and you're going to see her come on and off at different variations. Now this is video is sped up. <laughs> <laughs> um, otherwise it's about 10 minutes of our time, um, together. So it just, it shortens it. So it's easier to watch, but we worked on place when the lobby was actually relatively calm. And then you're going to see more dogs and people coming in and out. Um, so what I'm working on is a high amount of reward with harder distractions. I also am looking for her body language to settle. I want her to like, give me some eye contact. I know she knows her skills. Um, you guys have done a phenomenal job with that, but it's really like, all right, are you going to listen when there are those distractions that she's uncomfortable with and you can kind of see her ears are kind of her definitely her giveaway where she is processing everything so those ears grow forward and then side and then forward and the side and then goes down up and down it's it's she's incredibly expressive <clears throat> So what I'm doing right here is working on place. So with place, it is a boundary setting. She is on this spot and think of it like floating dog island. She is stuck in the island to float there. Um, with this, we also compound it with leave it. We tie place and leave it together. And when she comes off of it, it's woohoo, good girl. We get treats. It's the best thing ever. And then we can go look at other stuff. Um, so it's stationary hold, then go off. Now I'm not having the dogs walk around us. We're not being right in the middle of smack dab of things. It's more of off to the side. This is only one part of working on those thresholds. The second part of working on the thresholds is where you walk past the distraction that she's dealing with. So this is usually... Again, one variation. I wouldn't say it's the easier of the two. This is actually technically the hardest of the two because dogs are, they could come up to me. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm trapped essentially can happen when we're working on place behavior. So this is where we're teaching her to feel comfortable in her handler. So whoever's holding that leash, let's go. And she moves away from the dog. So when that dog started to fixate a little bit, I immediately released her and she got rewarded for walking away down a hallway, essentially away from the thing that she may have barked at. And you can see where she's gets a little like right here. You can see her panting. She's not panting this hard again. It is just <laughs> a fast forward video, but she's not the most comfortable. She's tolerating it, but she's not like she's not overly panting, but she is panting. Um, these are all stress signals that tell me, OK, we're a little uncomfortable, but we're willing to work on that. That right there is a little bit of a stress yawn and that's OK. Um, I'm going to reward that she's staying on her place. And she's leaving the people and the dogs. She's not growling. She's not barking. She's doing a phenomenal job in this aspect. But when she looks at the dog, I am marking it. Yes. Which may seem a little counterintuitive, but what it is, is this marking that you can look at it, but we can't bark at it. And anytime we have any negative behaviors, we release off of it and go away. We get removed from the thing that I'm uncomfortable with. She thought this was the best game, <laughs> especially when I would drop treats right in front of her. Um, she did really well for her first day. Um, I'm really excited to see you guys a little bit more. And when we get started into your privates, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to get that integration piece because your dog is wicked smart. So it's just about getting her to realize, oh, this is my expectation with mom and dad. But hopefully you're having a great trip and hear from you soon.